finding the most comfortable position that you can and just making sure that you are warm enough. Begin to close the eyes and find that complete stillness, taking the palms to face upwards. Well, you're welcome to stay seated if you like. And take a nice big deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose as you soften the body relaxing through your shoulders feeling as though the whole body is becoming more and more relaxed with each breath long deep breath in and nice deep breath out I'm going to close the mouth and just find just a natural rhythm in and out through the nose I'm not trying to change the breath in any way of any distractions and just allow yourself to arrive fully on the mat for your practice just letting each thought go Not trying to identify just acknowledge and let it go Allowing yourself to become the witness and just surrendering. When we are able to find or bring our attention to our breath. It allows us just to find the subtle energies within, bringing ourselves within, just letting go of that external that stimulates and just begin to find a stillness. Our breathing process allows you to let go of your past and future and allows you to focus just on the breath nothing else just your breath and when you breathe consciously this way It enables a different part of the brain to be stimulated. It stimulates a primitive part of the brain. It comes from more evolved areas of the brain. We are connecting with emotions directly with emotions. And that's why meditation, yoga, it's 
really important for our mental state of mind. Just for the next couple of minutes, you may come into an equal time breathing breath. If you prefer not to, just staying with your natural breath. But if you'd like, keeping the eyes closed, the right thumb onto the right nostril, and begin to inhale and exhale through left nostril. So not trying to change the rhythm, just trying to keep that equal time breathing as you inhale and exhale. Breathing helps reset the right and left sides of the brain, male and female, which automatically change every few hours. But this breathing technique brings balance. On your next exhale, you can either use your ring finger or whatever finger feels comfortable. We close the left nostril and begin to breathe in and out through right. You can use the left hand if you prefer. Next exhale, closing right nostril, opening left, breathing in and out through left nostril. And on your exhale, Closing left, inhaling through the right. And then when you feel ready, just releasing the hands back onto the knees. So we just did a nice basic breathing resetting right and left sides of the brain and it helps find balance yourself you feel the whole body is relaxing more and more with each breath each breath makes you relax your body deeper and deeper and saying to yourself I'm receptive to only good things and this is not a selfish act because if I am able to share my talents 
and gifts and my energy with the world. I have to be centered, focused and relaxed. And if I'm stressed and in a hurry, I will only make others stressed and in a hurry. And I breathe in and out and relax more and more. I feel my back is relaxed, long and straight. My jaw and neck is fully relaxed. I can feel it relaxing. I know that everything is okay. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Everything is working out fine. We are all good. I love the world. I love my life. And I love other people. And I have a deep gratitude towards the universe giving me the gift of life. I know that when I relax more and more, which I'm doing right now, into the knowledge of my inner fulfillment, I know that everything falls into place in my life. It synchronizes like magic. Everything is perfect, just the way it is right now. Everything's okay. I know that if I want to change anything, I have to accept it first. And after I have accepted, I have to love it. And then I have to bring it into replacement instead. When you resist, persists, or what you resist, persists. When you release, you can do whatever you want with it. Releasing is accepting. And its utmost consequence is loving. And I am accepting and loving this universe and this planet for what it is because it can be no different and I trust everything is happening for a reason in perfection in perfect harmony so that we all can develop and evolve further and further into this infinite time and space and I'm in the middle of this knowing that this is so and my thoughts and feelings are creative. And I know that my feelings and the guidance systems of my thoughts and when I feel good, relaxed, fulfilled, this is because I'm focused on the conscious or subconscious thoughts that I think is good, that are supporting me. If I don't feel good, I can be certain that it's because I'm focusing on thoughts that I don't want, consciously or unconsciously. My brain is thinking the thoughts and my heart is feeling them. And I feel the feelings in my heart and my thoughts are creating whatever it is that I'm thinking about. 
constantly. And I'm okay. That's what I'm thinking. I am good. We are good. We are okay. We are perfect. And I'm accepting that. And if I want something instead, I accept what is first. And then I insert the new thought of how it can be instead. I love what is. I accept all my creations. All my creations are beautiful and wonderful and strong. I accept everything about myself, about this world and about everyone else all the time, every hour, every minute and every second of the day. I know that I can change my behavior, my reactions, my patterns because I will remember constantly to check myself as the witness. I don't have to react negatively towards anything. I only have to accept it. And I am accepting it. Whatever happens to me, I accept it. And I welcome it. That way I am transforming it into something positive for me and everyone else. Everything is okay. I'll always remember that. I'll always be calm. I know that anger, resentment are not my friends. I know that calmness, joy inside that puts a smile on my face will constantly create the good things I want in my life while anger and resentment will constantly create bad things that I don't want in my life. That's why I'm choosing constantly for now to accept and welcome and transform everything into positive energy for me and for everyone else. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. I love everything. I love everything. My breath is deep and relaxed and I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling better and better no matter what happens. I know, I know that by my feelings right now, they feel good and I can change it. I'm feeling the bliss and the light of the source entering me. I'm feeling it filling up my chest, my heart, my body. I'm feeling it surging up through my legs and up through my thighs, up through my back and spine, to my neck, into my head, and down again over my nose, my mouth, through my throat, into my chest, down into my stomach, up again through my back, into my shoulders, out into my arms and out from my hands into the universe again. This surge of energy is going from the source through me and back to the source. And it's on its way back up or by other beings humans, animals, plants, being rejuvenated by this energy, 
gently spreading and cleaning me and into the universe as I have a direct contact with the source and the light of the source is streaming through me. I am feeling it now, getting energized, knowing that everything is going to be okay. Everything is perfect. And I have the force to change, to change whatever I want to change by loving it first and then inserting my new ideas coming from the source, the source of my soul. Allowing yourself to stay full of this energy. Just begin to bring your awareness back to the room. Not trying to interrupt the body. Just allow yourself Come back, noticing the ground below you, the connection, the ground, inviting a deeper breath, bring life back into the body. of goodness and peace that everything is going to be okay you're welcome to bring some gentle movement to the fingers or the toes. Just a subtle movement to allow yourself to gently wake up. Stretch out through the arms or the legs as you take a nice big deep breath in, filling up the lungs and just sighing it out. You may want to draw the knees in gently towards the chest, rocking from side to side or Gently grounding down through the feet, 
and just sweeping the knees from side to side. Just whatever movement will allow you to massage the sacrum, the lower part of the spine. When you're ready, taking your legs down to your favorite side. Just taking a few moments there. Just taking a few moments to give thanks to yourself for arriving on the mat for your practice. trying to keep the eyes closed, gently bringing yourself up to a comfortable seat, taking the hands to Anjali Mudra at the heart. And we'll finalize I'll practice with one round of OM if you'd like to join me. So we we'll inhale the OM, so inhale. Take the hands to eyebrow center. Bow forward to our internal selves. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May there be peace, may there be peace, may there be peace. Namaste.